Hi there, I'm Trisha Huffman, your joyologist, and I call bullshit on the idea that believing in yourself means that you are full of yourself. This is something that I can still struggle with, which is why I am calling it out. You see, I have worked so hard my entire life. I still work so hard to believe in myself to believe that I am capable of these things that I want, to believe that I am enough, to pull myself out of comparisons and the asking of the questions of why you, nobody cares what you have to say, Trisha, there's all these other amazing people in the world. I am constantly quieting those voices and coming back to believing in myself. It's daily work. Yet, when I feel inclined, to share what I'm up to with other people where it shows up as Trisha believes in herself, Trisha believes in herself, then I start to pull back as if that's not right. I'm not allowed to do that. Like it's okay for me to believe in myself, but I can't let other people know that. I mean, of course, if you follow me, you know that I let other people know that. And that, the reason that I do pull myself from feeling like, no, 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 I can't, I can't talk about myself, and into owning my awesome, believing in myself and sharing that, is that what I see, what I know to be true, because I see it from other people that I follow, that I look up to, that I believe in, That when I see people putting themselves out there, making things that they want happen, believing in themselves, making dreams come true, when that amazing singer comes out, when whatever, that, oh my gosh, that author, they made it. When I see people making things happen, I know it is because they believed in themselves and they kept believing in themselves and now they are here and they are sharing this thing with the world. And so what I'm constantly coming up into is, Trisha, it's okay to let people know that you believe in yourself. It's okay to share this, that you're excited about this thing that you're working on, that you're doing. Because by me doing that, I am hoping, my intention is, that you see a spark within yourself. What do I want? What is possible for me? If she's doing that, well, what can I do? That you need, you must, you have to believe in yourself. And you please, 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 please know you are allowed and that we want you to share that with us. It's a different thing. It's a different attitude than rubbing something in someone's face. And some people may still pick it up to be that thing. Some people may see a sharing on what you are doing as you are rubbing in their face, but that's their thing. It's not yours. And meanwhile, you're likely inspiring so many others and start setting off these little sparks in people. And even if those people that it shows up as a rub, that might be planting a seed, a fiery seed in them that gets them to then get into action in their own life and believe in themselves. Believe in yourself. You have to believe in yourself more than anyone else. Believe in yourself and allow yourself to be believed in because there's also a difference there. I can believe in myself But if I'm holding back from sharing that with others, there's a part of me that still isn't 100% believing in myself because I'm afraid of what other people will think. That the the made-up judgments of what people will think of me will hold me back from truly sharing, from truly showing up, from truly saying, I believe in myself out loud to the world. But really, if you've watched my video on I call bullshit of the fear of being judged, those judgments still just really belong to me. That it's still a piece of me that's telling myself I'm not enough and that is not allowing me to fully believe in myself. So every time you hold yourself back from sharing, from showing up for yourself, what you are doing is planting more seeds within yourself 
that you don't believe in yourself and you're not enough. And it's okay. That's the human experience. So instead of beating yourself up for that, say no, no more. <laughs> no more am I going to buy into that bullshit story. I believe in myself. I work so hard to believe in myself. Stop raining on your own damn parade. <laughs> And if you want to know these things that I do and this work that I do to believe in myself, to move past the fears and the doubts and the judgments and the comparisons and all of it, check out my six-week program, Be Your Own Joyologist. It is opening for enrollment very soon. Get yourself on the wait list for whenever it may be opening again, no matter when you're watching this, because I want more than anything for people in this world to be truly showing up as themselves, for themselves, owning who they are, believing in who they are, and to stop being so damn mean to themselves. <laughs> so once again, I call bullshit on the idea that believing in yourself means that you are full of yourself. Fill yourself up. Come find me at yourdoyologist.com at your joyologist on social media and make sure to listen to my weekly podcast, Claim It.